how to stay motivated after you graduate from college. Life after college is difficult. A lot of us might have thought at first in our younger years that after graduation, everything will become easy. But in reality, it's not. With many graduates entering the workforce, it's important for your transition to be easy. When you're out of college without any routine to follow, it can feel anxious or discouraging. However, how can a college graduate stay motivated when they don't have a plan and no specific goal? Yes, some of us have no specific goal after graduation. This means you change your goal from time to time until you realize that you have not achieved any of them after a long time spent. At first, your main goal might be to look for a job where you can practice what you have learned in your college. You might want to explore first for you to be able to know what you really want to be or where you want to see yourself in the future. If you have saved well while you were a student, you might consider spending a few of your months to take a break from college hungover or travel out of town. On the other hand, if you are less fortunate, your ultimate goal after college must be to land a job that pays well so you can pay the loans you have had when you were a student. So, is there a guide for you to follow or a list of things to do for you to stay motivated after graduation? Luckily for you, MANA member, we produced a list of the ways on how to get motivated after you graduate from college. Remember that while the first step is completing this amazing video, the second and possibly more important step is taking action even if it's imperfect action. You've just graduated with a degree or a diploma, and while everyone cheers, you have mixed emotions. You felt accomplished and thought back on the support that brought you to this moment, as well as how long it took to get there. Memories of sleepless nights, parties, staying up late with friends, and living your life really come flooding back after all that time of being a student. Now all that's over and you're no longer in school, tough decisions about work need to be made for now. Now that you're an adult, life is an exciting adventure so allow yourself to have fun. Deciding what will happen next with your degree is number one on the list. Your degree is framed beautifully but now you don't know what to do with it. From here on out, the job search becomes your main focus. So, for you to stay motivated, here's a list of things you should remember. Number 1. Acknowledge your accomplishments For all the effort and hard work that students put in to finish their degree, it's a great feeling when they finally see it through. After weeks or months of steady study, dedication, and perseverance, coming into college knowing there was no turning back is a rewarding moment, one that should be celebrated with a party. Number 2. Create a new routine After graduation, new graduates aren't used to an after-graduate routine, which can lead to feeling behind. To maintain some sense of order and build a more regular day-to-day -day life, it's important to establish a routine. Studies show that establishing these routines and doing something on a regular basis improve productivity and motivation. After establishing the routine, you can take breaks in between by getting involved in job hunting, volunteering, or finding a part-time job until you find something else interesting work-wise. Building the routine will help any recent graduate feel less behind and more motivated about moving on with their career. Number 3. Find Social Support Not everyone has parents who have connections in big companies. However, students should not give up on finding some form of support with their families and friends. Ask your friends and family members how they got started in their chosen career. Look for relatives or friends who are professional or probably in the same field as you and reach out to them for advice. There are times when friends and family members see something related to your major that you might be able to leverage. Number 4. Minimize Distractions In the most popular time-sapping activities, students could use that time to create their own life. For most people, social media takes too much time and sometimes distracts them from important matters. It can be harmful to compare yourself to people you don't know too well. The best way to create the life you want is minimizing those distractions in order to focus on what's actually important, your own life. Number 5. Read Motivational Books One book that can help you when you feel lost is You're a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life by Jen Sincero. It can truly help you stay motivated and positive. In the first place, to believe in yourself is actually the most important recipe for succeeding at an interview. Number 6. Listen to TED Talks TEDx Talks are videos that provide inspiration to people who want to achieve their goals. These videos discuss topics such as money, personal health, leadership, and more. 
There are talks given by the well-known to those with limited fame. TEDx talks help people feel motivated towards their goals and find encouragement in other stories. Number 7. Try LinkedIn Pulse In Pulse, you can choose which people to follow and read about trends, news on your interests and leaders you never knew existed. You can personalize your feed by choosing which influencers to follow and what topics are important to you. It's like TEDx Talks but divided into influencers, channels, and publishers. Number 8. Consider Twitter Twitter can be full of nonsense, but there's a lot of gold too. Some major thought leaders have accounts that provide bite-sized inspirational daily quotes to links to resources that might actually be really useful and inspiring. But you just need to know how to enable the right people in your Twitter stream and you'll find your feed with a wealth of motivation. Number 9. Don't punish yourself. Looking for a new job during unemployment can be painfully isolating. However, one thing that helps is engaging with your friends and having other things to do besides looking for a new job. You shouldn't always spend every second applying to jobs and you should still value wasted time like going out with friends. Number 10. Make a to-do list When you have a lot of going on in your mind and you know there are a lot of things that need to be done, to-do list will help you organize what is due, when, and motivate you for the task at hand. It's okay to start with tasks that come easier, but knowing which tasks interest you most and are on top of your priorities can help keep you motivated throughout all parts of your workday. Whatever method you choose, making a to-do list will help you stay focused on what needs to be done today and inspire confidence in the rest of your work. Although you know the real world may be confusing, and while your life after college can feel like a journey from point A to B with no end in sight, let's walk through the scene with the angelfish and abyss where Marlin and Dory have no idea where they're headed. Sometimes you have guidance from flashes of light or a good signpost. Sometimes it's not so clear. You may actually have less information about your destination than you were in school. And it's common for people to take different routes for their destinations than others heading in the same direction, either because of their unique circumstances or preferences. In these times, it can be easy to feel lost, anxious, alone, and overwhelmed. A lot of people might be in this abyss right now following graduation with lofty goals and inspiring ambitions. It's time to find a job now that you've left school. It's neither beneficial to lose yourself in daydreaming of what could be for too long nor succumb to the challenge of hunt for too long. That said, both can provide lessons, but the reality for most of us is that we need to get on moving toward finding a job or eating our next meal. For most people, it's essential that you make a plan for how you'll spend this in-between stage with goals and work hard to maintain balance in your life. Don't let this become one task that overwhelms your schedule without enriching activities like other things. Just as important as a plan is to maintain a positive attitude, which can be tough when you're faced with a growing number of rejection letters, it's good to have sources of inspiration that can keep you moving forward no matter where you end up in the in-between. For more sources of motivation, here's a list of tips for you. Number 1. Keep moving forward Keep feedback in mind and don't let it continuously feed the fire. Pay attention to what works and move on. Number 2. Be open to change don't get discouraged when you experience a job that doesn't work out. This can be an opportunity to open up new doors to other opportunities. Number 3. Don't let your mistakes eat you up. Be honest. If you're not sure about something, ask questions. Are you screwed up? Own up. Some people value honesty and we do that in different ways. You'll be highly regarded if you're willing to be honest about your mistakes because you learn from those just as much as your successes. Number 4. Be open to self-discovery. Your work is a way for you to discover yourself. The purpose of self-discovery is to grow as a person, to find out what you're good at, what you love to do, and what you dislike. Discover your why and you will be happier and more passionate in your life. Number 5. Build your connections. Your network is your biggest asset. Number 6. Learn from everything. Remember, every moment is a window of opportunity to learn from everyone around you, including your boss and coworkers. Grow relationships with people who are in need of help by being their solution. Number 7. Patience can bring you to success. The first step isn't easy, but you have to start somewhere. Don't give up and know that the best is yet to come. Number 8. Learn from your coworkers. Don't be intimidated by your colleagues and superiors by adding their knowledge to your approach. Rather, take what worked for them and apply it in a new way to work for you. 
Number 9. Respect everyone regardless of their economic state. Give attention to your relationships with the people around you at all times. Speak when you walk past, smile to janitors and receptionists, and treat people with humanity and integrity. Number 10. Prepare for your future. Make sure you're a responsible and efficient employee from the start. Just as your workload will increase with time, so will your responsibilities. Be ready when they do. To be successful in the future workplace, it will be harder for any worker to understand the needs of the job. However, there are driving forces that can help you succeed in your chosen career. Follow these tips as you grow. While learning about these tips, you'll also hear a few of these advice along your way. Number 1. Don't compare your beginning from someone else's middle. It's okay if you compare your performance to other people. At times, it can be a useful motivator for working harder and faster. It's important to remember how much time people need in order to get the results that they want. You don't know what it will take but remember that you're only getting started. With practice, you can become a professional someday. Number 2. Start saving for retirement as early as you can. To improve your retirement account, start saving as soon as you can. It's great to begin investing early because your money will grow year after year and compound interest is the best friend when it comes to taking care of your future. Plus, you will build good financial habits by starting early which can lead to financial freedom later in life. Starting early is one of the best advice for newly graduated people and many people your age wish they had listened when it was given. As a result of compound interest, even investing a little at the beginning can make a huge difference in your retirement fund. Number 3. Learn something new Graduating from school can leave you feeling tired and lost. That's how you know it's good because graduating is hard and unexpected. Yet, there are infinite opportunities to learn in the digital age that have never been possible before. When you graduate, it doesn't mean forgetting everything but creating a passion for learning that lasts a lifetime. Learning something new is exciting because there are so many things to choose from and so many ways to go about it. Number 4. Don't let life pass by. I was so busy surviving that I forgot what it meant to live. Now I have time to contemplate my life and be thankful for each day I got the chance to experience such unique moments. Sustainable human as he explores the idea of living in the moment. Many people let their life go without thinking about the present. They think that years from now, life will be much better but it's too long of a time to wait for something that may never come. Don't just let your life go by without making the most of it. Embrace the moment and live it to the fullest. Number 5. Have an emergency fund Starting an emergency fund before finishing your college degree can be of immense help when something happens and you're unable to make payments. College graduates may need to start one soon because it will allow you to have some cash available to avoid incurring debt and the other side effects that may occur when living month to month. The unfortunate incident from the past year left us with many unexpected things and it made us realize how unprepared most of us are, in particular, a medical bill or service-related issue. That's it for this video, Mana Member. Remember to subscribe to our channel and if you feel like we've delivered value, please share this video with one person. That's right, just one person as a token of your appreciation for the hard work we put into making content that educates and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. Remember, you can watch video after video but it isn't until you actually take action that you'll start to see results. See you soon!